everyone out there. This quick video is going to show you how to make a t-shirt design for the RL Angus band. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up a browser and we're going to search for custom ink, just like that. And you can click through. It might be the first one there with an ad or you can come down here. This one's actually got Canada, so that's where we're heading. So if you um, open it up and it says go to the Canada site, make sure you hit go to Canada. So we're going to scroll down on this front page there. You will see that we have a unisex t-shirt. Click on that one. And we're going to click on this first one right here, which is the uh, Gildan Ultra cotton t-shirt. Now you're going to see there's a million different colors that we can choose from. Uh, students, you're able to pick whatever color you want. However, what I want you to see is down here where it says available sizes and fits. You will notice that some of them only have small to 4XL, while others go youth extra small to 4XL. We want to make sure whatever color you pick has the youth sizes available. So right now, if I was to go to natural, we cannot use that color. Black, we can because we have youth. Uh, let's see if I can find one here. I really like that royal color. I think it's actually one we've used before. So I'm pick my color and now I'm going to hit start designing. It's going to load up our editor and this is where you actually get to design your shirt. When this pops up, you can just hit no thanks. I want to start from scratch. And you're going to start looking at the front of the t-shirt. Now there's a couple requirements that I want you to keep in mind when you're designing your shirt. On the front of the shirt, the only um, thing I want to have is um, some text and a little logo on this uh, sort of chest patch on the left here. So what we can do is we can add some text. And I want the text to say RLA band. So you can add this to the design. And you're going to see it's going to bring it on. And then we can shrink it down. And you'll notice when you drag it how it says left chest. We want it to be within that area right there. So I'm going to put RLA band right there. And then you can pick an image. So to add an image, we can go over here to add art. And we can search. So maybe I want it to be a uh, treble clef. I can search that. And I've got all these different logos I can use. I really like, ooh, let's see. We could have the staff in there too. So I'm going to click on it. And it's going to insert it into my design where I can then move it. There we go. Same thing. I'm just going to shrink it down a little bit. And I'm going to put it right there. Now you, of course, can come up with some other logos. Whatever you want to do, you can change the, the font of this by clicking on here. You can change the color of it. Um, you know, you can kind of go old school like that. Lots of different things you can play around to make it um, look how you want it to look. Uh, you can rotate the text um, by changing this. That'll make it kind of go on an angle. You can change the outline of it. You can add shape. Um, there's the size. You can layer all these different things that you can play around with. Um, to sort of change up the text. So on the front, you need to have RLA band and some sort of logo or combination. You can put more than one things, but we don't want to have a lot of graphics all over the front. It just sort of needs to be in the sort of front left chest area. When you've got that done, you're going to flip over to the back. And on the back, you need to have text that says 2018-2019. And you can put this wherever you want. The back gives you a little bit more freedom. I'm going to put that, for example, maybe right at the top. OK, and I can change my font up. Let's make it, how about that one? OK, so I've got my, my text there where it says 2018, 2019. If you want to go 18, 19, that's OK, too. Um, and then you're free to do whatever you want on the back here. So if you want, there is actually a music category. And then you can go, there's all these different things to do with music. So I can look at perhaps instruments. And do I have, let's add a French horn. So I'm going to add this French horn on right here. Add it to my picture or add it to my t-shirt. Looks beautiful. So once you're happy with your design, you're then going to save and share it so I can see it. So you're going to click on this save share button. And you're going to give your design a name. Notice it could be only 10 characters max. I suggest putting your name somehow or abbreviated form with it. Uh, and notice no spaces or symbols. So it's got to keep it like this. And you're going to send it to my email, which is djohnstone at sd81.bc.ca. And then you hit save. And if you've done it right, it should send it to me. So now I'm going to get an email saying you've sent that design. You're welcome to submit as many designs as you want. Uh, and then next week, we're going to pick the winning design. 
if you have any questions, just be sure to ask me in band and I can help you out. Thanks, everyone.